Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the Job Breakdown. Today we're taking a look at Black Mage in Shadowbringers. Black Mage's kit has been improved quite a bit with the Shadowbringers job changes, especially when it comes to things like Umbral Soul. Uh, but let's get into what Black Mage can do now. So of course we want to start off with Enochian, with the job being to keep that up as much as possible. 15% damage increase is great and we want that at all times. So we're going to do our best to keep it up. It does have a 30 second recast on it, so you can get it back pretty quickly. But the goal is still to balance your MP while trying to keep uh, Enochian up as much as possible. So as you can see, the longer we keep Enochian up, the further this little Chrono Trigger-esque clock ticks down. Uh, when it reaches the bottom, we will be able to get a stack of Polyglot. Polyglot can be spent on either Xenoglossy or Foul. Uh, for our purposes, we're single target right now, so we're going to instant cast that on a Xenoglossy, and it does so much damage, feels so good. Uh, we want to keep up Enochian with the express purpose of trying to get as many stacks of Xenoglossy as we can for damage. You can also spend them on Foul for AoE, but we'll get into the AoE rotation in a minute. As you can see here, we get a couple casts uh, in that 15 second timer, and then we use another Fire 1, and we get another one we also have a fire two proc because of fire starter we'll get back to that in a second we're out of mp so we'll use freeze to get some mp back we're gonna go ahead and proc a flare that eats most of our mp we're gonna go ahead and proc another freeze that'll give us quite a bit of mp back then we're gonna fire three that gets us right back into astral fire so we can keep fire fouring again we have triple cast so that's three instant swift casts we can use that to cast three more quick fire fours then we're gonna use a quick transpose even though we had some mana left so that we don't drop Enochian, because we're about to get our second thing of Polyglot. We'll go ahead and drop both of those. And as you can see, that is the basic rotation when it comes to Astral Fire and Umbral Ice with Enochian. You want to keep it up as much as possible. You want to use your abilities to try and manage your MP so that you can keep attacking in Enochian. There's a couple other things we need to add to our rotation before it's the actual like rotation you want to go with. But that is how you keep Enochian. You want to use fire ones, you want to use fire threes, uh, you want to try and keep your fire up for as much as you can until you're out of MP, then you're going to use a freeze to switch over, get a lot of MP, I normally automatically go into that flare if it's an AoE situation, if not, I will conserve my MP by using a blizzard three instead, or by using umbral soul to be able to keep my MP up, and then I'll switch back over with transpose, which also has a super short timer now, five second recast. To be able to just keep my damage going this is what black mage is really built around it feels like to me is keeping that damage up as much as possible and so there are times where i don't go for the fire one when i could have uh, because there are always going to be other things going on i like to keep that in my head that i can use transpose as well to get back uh, just in case something happens and i mess up or i'm trying to get my blizzard or thunder or i'm trying to get a scathe in there or i'm trying to get another flare or another fire four there's a bunch of different situations the optimal rotation involves using that fire one to be able to keep you going uh but if it looks like you're going to drop enochian hit transpose it is worth more to keep enochian up than it is to try and push out a fire one that you don't have time for uh fire one of course takes 2.35 seconds to cast so if you're not going to have that cast time you don't need to be casting a fire one you need to be transposing instead let's get into some of the other options the black mage has to augment that arsenal because again as you can see here the main rotation is very potent and we want it uh fire one has a 40 percent chance to proc a free fire three we call this a fire starter proc uh what that means is that you can cast a fire three for free with no cast time the real advantage there is not the extra damage on that or the free mp or the no cast time it is that Fire 3 can reset the timer on your Enochian. So you're able to use Fire 3 to get a free more 15 seconds on your Enochian if you have the MP to keep going after you cast it, obviously. Uh, otherwise, you want to go into the Umbral Ice phase and then use it to instantly switch. Now, another important thing to mention, we're just barely going to get this because I knew I had the time for it. Another important thing to mention is that once you have... Uh, the upper three and the lower three, you can cast the other one for free. Or, I'm sorry, just the upper three, not the lower three. You can cast the alternate element of Fire 3, Blizzard 3 for free to be able to switch back for no mana. So even when you are out of mana, you are able to do that. It feels really good. This is what it's built around. You may be asking, what are these three umbral hearts here? What do these do? Uh, Trey, you haven't talked about them at all. Well, let's burn through our mana here. 
and we'll switch back over. We're going to go ahead and cast another Thunder because we let Thunder drop off. We did not get a Thunder Gloud proc, unfortunately. We'll get into those as well in a second. Go ahead and burn through RMP. This should be the last one. All right, we're going to switch over here. So, as you can see, we have the three up top. We don't have the three down here. But if we use Blizzard 4, we get an Umbral Heart. We get three of them. And basically, that means that our next Astral Fire cast will be free. So we transpose and boom, boom, boom. Feels very good. Much cheaper on mana. I said free. I meant much cheaper on mana. I apologize for the miscommunication there. Uh, and basically half cost. So it's very, very important to do that to manage your MP correctly. Now, let's get into some of the other things that are important. Your Thunder procs. You have Thunder 3. Thunder 3 is going to be your single target. Uh, you have a chance of a Thundercloud proc there. Thundercloud procs are extremely important because they allow you to cast another Thunder for free. Uh, you're not going to get one forever, but it's a 10% chance after each tick of all of the ticks that you will be able to get it. I dropped a Nokian because I was explaining it, uh, which is very good. It's 24 ticks, basically. You have a very good chance of getting it. Uh, you also have Thunder 4. Thunder 4 is the AoE Thunder. It allows you to hit more than one target at a time, as you can see. Very, very useful. And again, it also has a chance to proc Thundercloud. So let's get into the AoE rotation a little bit here, because we do have some really useful abilities for that. We have Freeze, which we've talked about. You also, you still want to have a Nokian up, by the way. No reason not to. Uh, Freeze is a pretty good AoE. It basically completely replaces Blizzard 2. Blizzard 2 does less damage than Freeze and only centers around you, which means you have to be on top of the mobs, whereas Freeze allows you to focus mobs in front of you with AoE. So Blizzard 2 is still helpful for low-level dungeons. If you get into Sestasha or Copper Bell, you're going to want to have Blizzard 2. Otherwise, basically completely worthless. Uh, with your Xenoglossy, you have Foul, which is 650 to one target and has drop-off. Very, very powerful. In AoE pulls, you're going to want to be using your Fouls instead of your uh, Xenoglossy to be able to get that extra damage off. And then you still have Fire 2. Fire 2 actually is still really useful for a couple of reasons. It doesn't do as much damage as some of your more powerful single target spells, but as you can see, it still does a considerable amount of damage and it refreshes your Enochian. So, as long as you have Fire 2s, and freezes, which you will always have because of how much MP Fire 2 costs, you will be able to keep up a Nokian, which means you will be able to get another foul to be able to keep up that damage, which feels really good. You also have Flare, as we've talked about. Uh, Flare is incredibly powerful and eats up a bunch of your mana, but not all of it. You can then go straight into a freeze to get your mana back anyway. Uh, Flare is a very useful tool in the middle of your single target rotation as well, actually, uh, to be able to burn off excess mana if you need to. You also have Ley Lines, which we haven't really talked about at all. Uh, they give you faster cast times uh, by 15%. If you don't see how much that would help in a job that already is focused around doing a bunch of damage in a very short amount of time, uh, Ley Lines is the perfect cooldown for Black Mage. It allows you to just keep throwing out those attacks. You have Triple Cast, which is three Swift Cast, basically. And use that to get in even more fire force uh, to be able to keep Enochian going and to be able to keep the damage up so that you can get even more Xenoglossies out. Uh, which, again, that's what it's all based around. You know, the whole job is based around the idea of doing as much damage as possible. And then we'll get one more fire four before we're out of mana. So we're going to flare instead. So eat the last 800 our mana for way more damage than would have been otherwise. Then we'll do a freeze to get our mana back. Then Blizzard 4, again, very easy. we got a Thundercloud proc, so there is another Thunder 3 for free. And a Xenoglossy, and as you can see, it just keeps rolling on. Black Mage has one of the most satisfying rotations to me because you kind of never stop. Like, all jobs, you're building a, a resource, right? But Black Mage, you are on a 15-second timer at all times, and how you manage that timer dictates how good of a Black Mage you are. If you manage it well, you're great. If you manage it poorly, you're not. Uh, but again... I really love the way Black Mage plays. You also have Despair. We haven't really talked about Despair at all. Despair is kind of like Flare in that it eats your MP, but it does a really nice amount of damage. And again, you can cast a Flare right off of it and get your MP back right away. We have Sharp Cast that allows you to force a proc. You can force a uh, Thundercloud. You can force a Scathe. Uh, you can force a Fire 3 proc, a Firestarter proc. You got a lot of options there. Uh, Scathe is an instant cast ability, and it has a proc that allows it a 20% chance to do 200 potency instead of 100 potency. 
You may say, it does so little potency, though. Why would I ever use it? Why would you ever use Blizzard 2, right? No, Scathe is actually really useful because it's the only ability that you have, the only spell that you can cast while you're moving. All the rest of your skills require you to stop. So Scathe has a huge usefulness there in you're moving away from the boss and you're not going to be able to cast a spell anyway. Use a Scathe. You got free damage in there. Uh, you have to cast immediately. You have no time. You have to get that off the healer. Scathe. Um, so many uses for Scathe. It's really, really good. Uh, sleep is one you're probably not going to use very often. Most enemies later in the game are immune to sleep, but there are fates that it can be really useful in. Uh, Swift Cast, of course, is good, but you already have triple Swift Cast, so, eh, you know. It's not the worst, but it's not the best either. You have Ethereal Manipulation, which allows you to select a party member and fly to their side as if they used rescue on you. Very useful. You have a really nice ability here. Let's say you're having to move because of the boss. You can use between the lines to go straight back to your ley lines. Uh, another interesting thing here, we dropped a Nokian because I was talking and not paying attention, but we still kept our polyglot. So we could still use Xenoglossy. So there were still reasons to have that. Of course, we went over your thunders. You have Mana Ward. This allows you to create a barrier around yourself, uh, which basically just eats 30% of your maximum HP. It used to be 20. 30% of your maximum HP worth of damage for 20 seconds. Really good. You have Lucid Dreaming. You may say, but Trey, I can bring back all of my mana by switching to uh, Umbral Ice. Why would I ever use Lucid Dreaming? Well, let's say that I've spent a long time in fire. I'm in fire and I've been there. I've been casting my fire ones. I've been getting fire starter procs so I can stay there. Uh, Lucid Dreaming allows you to get MP back faster when you switch back over uh, so that you can go right back into it. You also have Mana Fought. You can restore 30% of your maximum MP. So for instance, let's use a bunch of our MP here. Fire 4. Fire 4. We could have triple casted that, but it's fine. We'll go ahead and use a Fire 1 a little bit early just to get the reset there. And we're just going to eat our mana here. Every bit we've got. Okay, and then we mana font, and then we can cast again. We're just barely gonna get that. So we get a free fire four out of that. And then, oh, actually, I wanna flare. Oh, I freezed first. Oh, well. I should have flared there. Uh, yeah, it's really useful. It's very useful for a DPS burst window. You have sure cast, which I don't use on a lot of classes. Really handy on Black Mage because all of your abilities are casting. You're going to have to be rooted there for a second. So sure cast if a raid wide's coming out so you don't get interrupted is very handy. And then the last ability, which I've saved for last on purpose, is probably the best ability, uh, Umbral Soul. It resets the timer on your Enochian if you are in Umbral Ice. You say, why do I need that? I can just keep casting. Why would I ever need to reset the timer on Enochian? Well, if the boss leaves and becomes untargetable, if you are in between pulls in a dungeon... If for any reason you are unable to cast and you would lose Enochian, now you do not. You could al uh, already use Transpose to keep that up, uh, but if your Transpose was on cooldown or if you had made a mistake, uh, Transpose, not quite as useful as Umbral Soul because Umbral Soul also gives you back Umbral Hearts. So you can go straight from Umbral Soul into Fire 3, straight into Fire 4s without ever missing a beat. It's very, very useful. I think Black Mage is in a great spot right now. I don't even know what I would say they should add to Black Mage. I know that this explanation has been long and truncated. That's the opposite of long and drawn out. That's what I was looking for. Uh, but I hope that I was able to convey Black Mage really well. I made a lot of mistakes in my previous video, and I wanted to fix that this time. Uh, Black Mage is a really fun class to play it's one of my favorite classes in this game and i definitely wanted to do it justice so let me know your thoughts on black mage in the comment section down below i've been trey this has been the full spectrum and remember to always enjoy the full spectrum that xeno glossy has to offer i can't cast it anymore also i bugged out what What?